Okay, mom says she sees some old trees and she's picked out the one where we're gonna find some treasure. I want a silver fork. Silver fork. Dan, what's your goal today? Gold ring with a gold coin in it. Silver ring and a gold ring. Get it off me. Get it off me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> we're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> so you can't do that. That is too far. Alright. Got some tone with the pointer in this pocket. And uh, we're in the same park where we found silver in a pocket. So Dan swept it and said it sounds like a good tone. So now we're going to see what we get. He's so gentle. Oh. Worth it by the pop can. A uh, Starbucks pop can. Any real metal detectorist would know that we planted this here. Got a nickel signal under a great big tree. Nice. It's a little deep. Brand new one. Looks like it. Yeah, it's a '96. No, what did you find? Eighty-five nickel. <laughs> I think that's a radiator. That's. Did you try taking the cap off? Yeah, I tried. I'm just not strong enough. What was it? Oh, and you didn't film it. Good job. What is it? Uh, let's see. L customer, second company, three self, mission statement. Is this a variety? No. Kalispell Refrigeration of SC Inc. Established 1996. A cool coin. I got a sign. You can spit on it, you don't have to lick it. <laughs> Dude, she just licked this coin. I'm not very good at spitting. Shut up. You just 1980. drop some of it out of your mouth. <laughs> Is he metal? Is he worth digging?
<laughs> if all these radiator caps type things that we're finding are old sprinklers, I think she just found where you turn it on. Or a silver chalice. If you find a giant silver cup, I'm sorry that it's not a fork. Okay, I cannot even tell you how many 1964 coins I have so far. I got pennies, I got, well, I got a 65 dime, and I got 64 quarter, and then right on top, wheat penny. All these other coins have been down like six inches. It's crazy. Let's see if we got a key date here. Alright, well, it's probably too blurry for you guys to see the date, but 1957. Hey, there we go. Finally got some focus. There it is. Alright, another wheat cent. I don't know if you can see that, but... Digging pretty deep. Anyways, got it out. Let's see if we can get a year. Looks like 1939. Okay, looks like I got a piece of junk jewelry of some kind. Look at that. There's gotta be silver around here somewhere. I just got another 63 penny a minute ago. And this here, they don't mess it up too bad. There's a wheat penny. Let's see if I can get a year off of it. There it is. 1945. Okay. We are killing it on the wheat pennies again tonight. My heart stopped a little bit when I saw the three. But it's a 53. Can you see that date? I mean... 1965 come on where's the silver look at that 1965 all night just running around the silver not okay it's kind of dark I can't really get it to focus but I got like a waving flag pin okay right about dark I started to run out of battery on my camera and I was able to pick up this nice sterling silver necklace with what I'm assuming is also a sterling pendant. Let's see if we can pick up. Oh, so you can see 
the 925 on the clasp. And let's see if we can focus in. Yep, there's the 925 on that. I started working the sidewalk strip and I came up with this nice old button. The backside's totally ruined. But still has quite a bit of detail on it. I think it's an old one. Let me know if you know what this is. Here is the big shocker of the night, though. A <laughs> gold dog. <laughs> he actually uh, was a pin, and I found the pin in the hole first. And for whatever reason, it did come up in the gold tone, but I found it online. It's a vintage dog pin, and it's gilted which means basically it was painted with gold so not very high quality on the gold part but it's gold